Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. Link might need one more high there in this structure. So we're going to talk about that in this video. The idea about the Link chart or the idea I have is that a five wave move likely topped here in March, most recently, yeah, around the 11th of March. This top that formed around $22.90, that was a wave one. And then a wave two pullback could basically be unfolding right now. But in the wave two, we also have rallies and a bounce, you know, like here, this sort of B wave rally um, should be here. So A wave down, B wave up, C wave down. We're still within resistance. So the resistance area, the standard resistance area ends at $21.28. But if you are familiar with Elliott wave, then you know that resistance areas they don't necessarily stop B waves. B waves can overshoot. That's why they are so difficult. And at the moment, it's a three wave move up. Even with one more high, the entire move up from the 20th of March low would be a three wave move to the upside. And um, that would still leave the door open for a B wave. If we get five waves, then I have to count it and interpret it as an extension of wave one. Yeah, that's currently not preferred, but can happen. I see it potentially morph into that could potentially transform into that because um, this wave four is very deep. It's not too deep to be valid, but it's too deep to be reliable. It already touched several times the golden ratio level. So what's that about? I mean, the idea is that in this B wave, we have an ABC structure. It's a three wave move, as I said. And the C wave is a five wave move. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And basically one more high. But the thing is, this wave four is very low, very deep. Uh, normally, I don't want a wave 4 to go below the 50% FIB level. In a diagonal, it's valid, but it has only rallied in three waves from there. So, I, you know, it, it could easily morph and transform into something different. Well, what would that be? Well, there are just a lot of options, you know. Um, one option that I see is that it transforms sort of into this larger yellow count into a diagonal pattern. In which, in which, in which, this here is an A B, C structure and the yellow B wave could go a little lower. That's something that I will probably add to several charts because I can see that, you know, it's just, even though support is holding, just looking at price action alone, it tells you there's quite a bit of weakness in the charts, but maybe not enough weakness to already break down completely in wave C, rather for this correction to morph into something different. And yeah, I mean, that could be here, um, the diagonal pattern that's unfolding. This is not yet a, th a larger third wave. Okay, this is not one, two, three. Um, it's not long enough, or is it? Let me just double check that. I don't want to say anything wrong here, but a third wave should reach the 1.38 extension. Nah, it's too short. Okay, so it would be an A wave in a third wave. And then it could also turn, in, in, if we talk about the white count, it might turn into a WXY. So they are the potentials we're tracking. Okay, when, with, with all of those potentials, when can we really say that uh, the B wave is complete? Mm, I would probably need a break below that wave two low here or B wave low. That was the 22nd of March low. So a break below $17.30 could, could confirm followed by a break below $16.26. And then we can watch for the um, C wave to the, to, well, wave C in two. If there's a clear one, two setup to the downside as well, you know, if we, if there is a five wave move down because a wave four in the white count or the yellow B wave, I, they shouldn't be five wave movements. So if there's a clear five wave move down, that's long enough to suggest that this is the way, the start of the wave C. Yeah. Then we can confirm that, you know, but at the moment I don't have clear evidence that a top is in place. However, I see initial indications that we might see the microstructures transform yeah which is normal in corrections you know that's why that's why um it's best to focus on the levels and not so much on the um the counts themselves not in corrections not in corrections because they are they're just too many potentials you know you don't normally want to um that's also why trading diagonals is more difficult not impossible no it's just a bit more difficult so yeah i mean we're here in a mess okay so this is a uh, this is maybe wave five of one in an extension, which I don't like so much because this correction was very deep. Um, or it's this B wave still. And if it breaks below the $18.99 level, the B wave might even transform a bit. So yeah, it, it really takes a little bit more evidence to say that a more substantial top is in place. 
and it would need a break as I said below around about 1735 for an initial confirmation that the C wave to the downside has started to unfold which would then be potentially a really interesting um, opportunity yeah, if the price forms these this larger ABC structure. Okay, that's my update about a link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.